Welcome to my she hut. You need to have a look at this. This is my meditation room. Um, this is where I chill. I mean, this is my she hut. We used to call it the pool house, but my friend calls it the she hut. So I like that better. I don't know why. It just sounds like me. Um, so it's been um, a couple days since I had a video out and I said I was going to do one every day. So there's that. We're going to work on that. Okay. Progress, not perfection. I am not very good at following through with things. So we're working on that. Although, there we go. Although Esther Hicks says that we need to quit trying to improve ourselves and accept the perfection of which we are. Them are some powerful words because we're perfectly imperfect so um okay today's video is going to be about last time we were talking about patterns um so i am going to we're going to talk about that and we're going to talk about how uh, other people's patterns can affect you or how to not let them affect you um <clears throat> one of my videos I talked about being empathic and I explained to you what an empath was and I'm thinking that if you're still watching my videos that you probably that resonates with you and you are probably an empath um, and so I'm going to talk about that because empaths are prey for energy vampires and narcissists um, and that makes it hard because we're, you know, we're easily taken advantage of. And we do not think at all the way the narcissist thinks or the energy vampire because they're all out for themselves, for their own gain. And we are driven by service to others. And I'm not saying this stuff like praising. I'm just saying it's, it's, that is what it is. Like for me, <clears throat> what drives me to do something is... Now, it could be a self-seeking selflessness, if that makes sense. Like, it could be, I want to feel good about doing something for somebody else. Or, I want the praise of doing the right thing. Um, so, that's kind of a selfish, selfless act. You see what I'm saying? But, I am driven by helping others, period. What, regardless of what need that fulfills. That's what I'm driven by. Narcissists are not. And, they don't even try to pretend like they are they are ruthless they think that they are um they think oh hold on this thing just keeps on they think that they're exempt from just the laws of humanity they think that they are special that they things don't apply to them that they have a right to things that other people don't that they um they have like a double standard on everything pretty much um, because they're different, they're unique, they're better. Um, so, a, a narcissist can be spotted by those traits, um, by a good big red flag that you're dealing with a narcissist is when they do something that shocks you. Like, for me, it seems like the, uh, I'll be able to identify a narcissist when they do something that I Sorry, telemarketer. Um, okay, so they... It's a big red flag when they do something that you would never be able to do. Um, like it doesn't even occur to you to do that. Um, <clears throat> and I've even tried to do things like block people. Um, and I can't do it. <laughs> I just can't. I know what it feels like to be blocked. And it makes you feel really small and really insignificant and really... Um, discarded and I don't want to do that to anybody um, I really haven't been blocked that many times it's my twin flame that is um, has literally traumatized me with the blocking um, but and believe it or not that's pretty typical that's pretty typical for the runner chaser dynamic so that helps but anyhow um, and he's a narcissist um, I hate to say it but he that's what he defaults to and so that was the next thing I was gonna say is narcissists 
narcissism is a spectrum okay so you're not like either a narcissist or not it's not like black and white there's there's a spectrum and you can be really narcissistic or just a little bit narcissistic and I think sometimes I or maybe empaths in general can trigger the narcissist in somebody um, even if it's just a little bit and that's because we sort of give them the right to it you know what I'm saying like it seems like I give power to people um, I give away my power and then they take it and run and I'm standing there astonished like oh my gosh they took all my power and they took all like my positive energy and you know whatever but see that's that's where the law of attraction comes in and, and Esther Hicks talking about um, supplying being your own supply um, and and we're here to uplift people we're here to spread vibes good vibes we're, that's what that's our purpose so but we need to keep ourselves replenished and we need to not let people um, just deplete completely deplete us we need to have boundaries so um, narcissism is a threat to the empath and um, you need to and you know what else I've even been really aware going into relationships or even if it's friendships or whatever of my tendencies to give away power my tendencies to give all my positive energy to let to, to let energy vampires just suck the life out of me seriously um, and I still do it <laughs> so I can't imagine how bad I'd be though if I had no awareness of it that would be oof, oof. Um, so watch out for the narcissist watch out for the energy vampires those are people that feed off of you um, some character traits are uh, like for uh, energy vampires they're they're uh, victims they have victim mentality everybody's out to get them they need your help with this they need your help with that they don't you know they they don't have a job because nobody will hire them because da 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 and they don't have money it's all everything is somebody else's fault um, they don't take any responsibility for their position in life and um, they're just victims they're always victims and they feed off of your positive energy because they have none okay they're just all negative energy and the truth of the matter is is that we are all pure positive energy that's what we are at our core but we get programming we get um, all these layers put on us and our personality including ego that gets all entangled and we end up being dysfunctional humans which is supposed to happen because part of our journey is to um, find our way out of that dysfunction and assist humanity into a higher consciousness so that was a lot of words um, I hope I'm not confusing you guys with this stuff uh, yeah. and you're following me so I'm trying to do the 30 and 30 30 videos in 30 days um, I'm doing the challenge because I am workshopping becoming a life coach um, I'll have to do a video on my job another day because it's a it's a whole video to itself but I am researching becoming a life coach um, I was accepted in to the um, life mastery Institute it's was founded by Mary Morsey and Matt Boggs who is a really uh, popular youtuber um, I think you focus on relationships, but life coaching, you can <clears throat> narrow it down to certain fields, which I think mine would be health and wellness. Um, or parenting, or I don't know. Y'all can give me some input. But right now, I am workshopping becoming a life coach and getting my certification for that, and I, you're my guinea pigs. And so, in my 30 and 30 day challenge, you have a daily challenge of writing down or doing the assignment that I have for you. And um, through that, it's going to be self-exploration and self-discovery. And we're, I'm going to get, guide you into the ascension process. Okay? Okay? Um, so, what did you do last time? You wrote down your patterns and the cause. Today, I want you to write down, think of times where... <clears throat> And it doesn't have to be every single time maybe maybe 
three to five times where you have a relationship has ended with you feeling taken advantage of. And I want you to look at that and find the character traits in that person that are they narcissistic? Okay, do they put themselves, like they only care about themselves, they have no empathy, they, um, they shock you with their ruthlessness, they are never wrong, they are very argumentative, they, they actually will make you question your own ability to perceive what's going on. Like, the, you know, they'll, they'll, you'll have a feeling or belief or understanding of something and, and they'll say, no, that's not what happened. And they'll like convince, try to, they'll get you questioning yourself. So that's another trait. So look at those three times or three to five times that you have, a relationship has come to its end and you have felt um, taken advantage of. And so what did they do? And what did you do? What did you do? Did you let them? Did you uh, did you give them all? Did you keep your supply? Um, so like if you're if you're giving your energy away to somebody, then you, you you have to replenish your supply, which through meditation, self love, like taking care of yourself, getting plenty of rest, like just all that stuff, good stuff for yourself. You have to keep your vibe your vibes up, or else they're just gonna deplete you of yours. So did you do that? Did you? Um, did you not take care of yourself? Did you um, start worrying about them or them leaving or them, you know, not being in approval of you? Did that become priority over you being in approval of yourself? Um, or did, um, I feel like I'm really like, bleh, like foggy right now. Um, I'm trying to keep things solid for you. Um, so, a more concise way of saying this. Write down three times, I'm gonna keep it three, where you felt taken advantage of and why. Why did you feel taken advantage of? Write down what you could have done differently. Okay? And if narcissistic um, traits come in there, just circle them. Circle the narcissist. Anytime you see a word that that aligns with the narcissist, circle them because I think you'll see that the, the people that take advantage of you are narcissists, and they're narcissists because that's what you activate in them. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's all I got. Um, I'm supposed to tell you what I'm grateful for, and what I am grateful for is that everything always works out. No matter what you do, no matter what they do, no matter what gets said or doesn't get said, or no matter what, everything always works out. And if it's not worked out, then it's not done. And that's some pretty cool stuff right there. That's cool to be aware of that. And so that's what I'm grateful for is that I have that awareness. Because when I get in panic mode and I'm like, things aren't you know going my way or whatever, I know that there is an outcome that is going to happen that, I mean, it could be more than one probable outcome, but there's going to be, it's going to resolve. It's just going to resolve. Okay. So, peace. Oh, don't, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Okay. Don't forget. Do it. Do it now. Bye. she gets it from. Uh, yes, you do. I am not weird. Uh, uh, yes, you do. You know how you get it. I want this open. Uh, I, like, I, like, uh, no, I just want it to open. I just want you to open. That's what I want you to do. What the hell? Make this. Sh How you make this work, dude? <laughs> I, do I look like I'm laughing? Tap on the utility. Tap on the setting. My phone's getting hacked by the FBI. FBI. Stop, please. Stop. Oh my God. You. <laughs> uh, stop. Don't. You're, you're really, really nerving me. 
Whatever, pull it up. I just don't like it how it keeps going to sleep. We love each other. <coughs> uh, we do love each other. That sound is sarcastic. We do love each other. We totally love each other. Did you catch that? I hope you did it. <laughs> I can't tell my kids mine. <laughs> They'd be all up in my phone. Why? Because it's a sacred. Well, that's, I'm not changing my password. Um, this is my phone, as far as I'm concerned. So, um, <laughs> no, it's my phone. No, no, I'm pretty sure I paid for it. Right, bro. I'm watching all my practice when I do weird things. Like, I was just over here doing this. This. Get it. 
Of me.